BJJ expert makes self-defense techniques look as worthless as they are, but I'm going to go over that. But before I get into it, if you're ready to start putting together a plan for you and your family to minimize the chance of violence coming into your life, go to timlarkin.com, get our free report, tons of information on how to minimize you and your family ever having an encounter with violence. It's a lot of it is just, just great preparation work, but also how to define violence, how to make sure that you understand how to use your brain and body and also tools. So lots of great information. Start putting together your plan now and make sure that you and your family really have what they need when it comes to the tool of violence. So I've been doing some videos in the past and uh, they've been showing uh, various positions and a couple of them had jujitsu guys and they were showing things that they were going to do for a street fight. And my only contention on there had nothing to do with jujitsu. It had to do with the fact that they were assuming things. And so a couple of people got butt hurt and they sent me this video <laughs> as, as their proof that, you know, self-defense sucks. Like, you know, first of all, I don't teach self-defense. All right. There, there's no such thing as self-defense. There's violence. How you use violence, it will be determined if it was justified or criminal. If it's justified, it will be turned self-defense. If not, you're going to jail or you're going to deal with the legal system on that. So self-defense, the term itself is, is ridiculous. It has nothing to do with it, but I understand what people are saying. So they sent me this video of this guy and his name is uh, Brian McCaffin and he is freaking hilarious. He is BJJ Black Belt with 10th Planet. If you're not following, you should follow him. Just, just. Just his delivery alone is hilarious. A uh, highly competent guy. But he took that umbrage with some of the stuff that he saw on TikTok, on uh, YouTube. These guys showing positions where they can get out of like a rear naked choke or a triangle. It is. It's, it's ridiculous how he, he goes, you know, how they try to, to do this. Because again, how it's being shown is, is wrong. Now, the targeting... There's targeting issues that are absolutely valid, but the positions that, that these things are shown from and, and the application that are shown by these you know, self-defense experts, it's ridiculous. And he does a really good job of breaking that down. So let's go ahead and watch a little bit of this video, and then I'll make my comments, because there's only one thing that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have kind of a disclaimer at the end. As much as I enjoyed his video, there's one disclaimer that I'll have at the end that I just want to make clear to everybody, and, and I, I see it with a lot of these types of videos where my kung fu is better than your karate type stuff where you won't get out of my move I won't get out of your move type thing let's get to Brandon's video first of all he's got a great delivery the poor bastard that is uh, his training partner here this kid probably just got the the short straw on this one makes some incredibly funny faces during this time Brandon seems to enjoy inflicting pain on this kid but let's hear some of his points because he makes some very valid points by, by heart by heart <laughs> get me get me poke him out as hard as you can Hard, 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 hard. Mm -hmm. Hard, hard, hard. <laughs> hard, 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 my heart. Here are a couple of the most useless movements in all of martial arts. I tell you, I don't even have a rear naked choke. Just it's like a hit list of all the all the guys on on YouTube. They're just showing these things pretty funny his his delivery is hilarious you just cracked it just watching it cracks me up bite me right here all right you ready to start biting hard mm -mm -mm. all right mm -hmm. on the count of three just bite the just bite the crap out of me ready <laughs> one two bite bite hard bite bite hard 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 bite hard there are a ton of videos on the internet especially on tiktok here's the tiktok instagram ones. fake martial arts or People just, uh, if he did that, I'd just bite him. I'd just poke his eyes out. Just useless stuff. Let me show you a couple of ideas. First of all, the eye poke thing versus the rear naked choke. Okay, he makes some good points on this. I'm going to skip ahead. It shows this girl talking. It's, it's, it, I don't even want to give this any more credence the way she talks about it. It's absolutely ridiculous uh, how she's you know saying you're going to go in the eye. She knows nothing. But he makes some really good points as he's showing it from this position that he's in. The, the body dynamics and everything, he's absolutely right about not being able to have enough force. So let's hear what Brandon says about this. Like Even without a choke in, if I just squint my eyes like this, I want you to jam your thumb in my eye hard. Jam it in there, dog. Jam it in there. Dude, I'm pushing back into you, right? You feel? I'm pushing in. There, get out of here. You're just not in a position to do anything strong for him. And now listen, if I just leave my eyeball open and he jams his thumb in there, that's not gonna feel good and it might slow me down, but it's not gonna incapacitate me either way. And if you try to jam my eyeballs out, I'm gonna break your face for sure. You ready? Go, 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 go. 
Get me, get me, get me, get me, get me, get me. Poke them out as hard as you can. Hard, 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 mm -hmm. hard. Hard, hard, hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything. I have nothing, but I, I agree with him 100%. So I have nothing criticize what he said and he's absolutely right that that dynamic you know you don't have really any strength to get back in there you can get in there and possibly scratch you know scratching the corneas you know, get in there if you can get through the the lids the way he's talking about from that position but the real problem is that the person has to deal with a fully executable choke that the person's going to strap on real quick so again you don't have the time to do it well and he makes a very good point of that so again another common thing that I hear about the rear naked choke is I would just bite him if he put his arm up around my face. Now I bite. <laughs> and now finally when he pulls away, he has very little meat left and I've defended the rear naked choke. I dare you. Yeah. Listen, when the arm goes in. Oh. Okay, you know, but do look what he's doing. The, the kid's opening his mouth really wide and he's gonna put it right around the bone. Now, I'm not saying it'd be any different if he didn't have his mouth open like that. But what Brandon's saying is that as soon as you open your mouth, I'm gonna slip my bone, the, the you know, my, my forearm bone right in there and get the radius bone in there. Uh, there there's a couple of things that maybe, but, but he's absolutely right. The pressure he's about to put on the kid before the kid could sink a bite into him that would do anything. And again, as we always talk about, we don't rely on pain. And that would be a total pain movement at that point. The only thing that would stop it, it wouldn't really degradate function or anything in the, in the human body. It would, you'd bite down and you might get the radial nerve, do some damage that way. But again, before any of that happens, you'd, you'd execute the choke and do real damage to his face that way. I mean, you can literally pull the jaws right out of the mandible. In the mouth just a bit, I won't make you bite me. When the arm goes in and I start to pull through your skull right there, can you like, I, I, I don't have a great position, agree? Can you bite down right there? Bite down hard? Bite down super, super hard. You can't create any kind of biting pressure. If you were, let's say, a wolverine, or okay. perhaps you had- So I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. You know, he's right. He's right on that. You know, and then he puts uh, people with serrated teeth and stuff, pretty funny stuff. Okay, this, <laughs> this one, I'm just gonna show it, not because I think it's something we need to go over, it's just freaking funny. He's talking about doing a triangle, and I guess there are people out there saying, I would just bite his nuts. Uh, that's a real thing. I mean, people, people are really saying that. That's training I've never heard of. But anyways, I guess it's a thing, so he's answering it. And I hear about the triangle choke all the time. Well, I'd just bite him in his nuts if he did that to me. Keith, can you bite my nuts from this position? <laughs> no, Coach, I can't bite your nuts. <laughs> One more, Keith. Classic. That's stupid. So that's just a couple of examples of, I don't want to call those useless defenses, but if your skill set as a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu practitioner is even at like a medium level, you're going to be able to blow through all those defenses and all those scenarios. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Okay, great video. Everything he's talking about with the setups he's talking about, he's absolutely right. The body dynamics and everything. There, none of the moves that were shown you could rely on biting or uh or or trying to gouge you know successfully gouge eyes in the manner that he's talking about with the move that he's talking about now here's the issue okay and this is the only problem i have with this well there's a couple of problems with it one let's be honest that was his coach you know i, I mean every time i see this it's with my training partner or it's with my friend or it's with something and it's not not for real. And what I mean by not for real, I'm not saying that position. He's absolutely right. If you sit there and say, hey, I'm going to put you in a rear naked choke and try to get out of it. That's, that's just, a stu that's a stupid thing. You should never say, sure, put me in the move. And then as soon as you lock the move in, I'll try to get out of it. No, that's not, that's not when you make any moves. You have to do it before they don't sit there and let somebody put something on you right away. You know, especially an amazing practitioner like Brandon. There are a lot of great guys that are really good grapplers and really good uh, jits guys. And you give them a chance, they're going to show you just how good they are. You have to, just like anything, as soon as hands are put on you, you can't wait and go, oh, geez, is he trying to choke me? And yeah, then it is and you're out. But there's a couple things. It's the stakes. I, I see this all the time where you can't do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna close my eye really hard. And you're not gonna get in. Even when people are like straight on, they'll, they'll, they'll do that. Where you do have body weight, where you can get in there, and it's very easy to take the eye. So, so my whole thing is, I, I just think these are stupid scenarios. 
because they're ridiculous. It, it's like, you know, my, my karate is better than your Kung Fu type thing. It really is, is, it's a meaningless, other than exposing the fact that if you tried to do the movements that these self-defense guys are showing, you, you would fail miserably. I absolutely agree with that. But the other premise is, you know, when guys say, well, you couldn't do this. That's, that's the danger. The danger is I've, got, I've had a lot of guys, oh, you can take my eye. I just got to go in there. Well, they've never had anybody really try to do it because they've never been facing a freaking sociopath who doesn't give a shit who comes in. And there are plenty of videos. Go see my attacking the eye video. You can see how easy it is to go into the eye and do that. Problem is most people don't know how to do it. As you guys know, I spent a lot of times, you know, interviewing a lot of the gang members, uh, Aryan Brotherhood, Black Gorilla Family, Mexican Mafia, a lot of the uh, shot callers there, hitters, who shared with me their violence you know, stories. And I've seen the reports from my corrections people. You wouldn't believe what people ever do with their teeth and their fingers uh, to another human being. And the reason is because they want to do it. They're not a training. It's not like, oh, this is my training buddy and I don't really want to hurt him. So I'm not going to really try to bite down and do any damage to him. So that, I just think it's a false setup and it's just, it's just worthless. You have to objectively look at real acts of violence and see what can be done to the human body. And again, there's these weird assumptions that people make. Like, I'm going to close my eye really hard and because I know you're going to go after my eye. Well, as you can see in most of the videos that I show, you have no freaking idea the guy's going to go for your eye. Something happens, you get nailed into the solar plexus or something, you go like this, and then the eye is the next thing, and your eye pops out like that. That's why you look at sports injuries, because sports injuries are highly conditioned athletes, you know, for the most part that are in there. And then, you know, how many basketball players have I shown you guys where, where the eye literally pops out? It's just that easy. Those are real conditions. That's not these phony conditions that we put on where we really we wouldn't want to hurt each other. We're friends. Training, we're not sociopaths. We're trying to maim, cripple, and kill. So I just think it's a false premise all, all around. I do think there's a lot of dangerous, stupid self-defense stuff that's out there. And I think people like to do it because it doesn't put them in harm's way. They do these, you know, magical movements and it feels good and you don't have to put real work in and you don't have to risk anything. We use slow, accurate, controlled training at the beginning just like the jujitsu guys, when they're learning their techniques, their new techniques, if they want to get really good, they do slow rolls where they really learn how to lock it in and go and they work back and forth before they go full, full bore. So I've told you, a lot of my jujitsu buddies and uh, friends, and you hear guys like Rogan say it and, and, and other guys that their biggest, you know, skyrocketing in their skill set was when they did a lot of slow rolling with a really good partner who just gave a little bit of resistance. And then as they get better, they could increase the resistance. Okay. So laying those foundations is really, really valid and good. Same thing when you're going after trauma to the human body, you have to know exactly where to go. You have to know exactly how to use your, your body to get these types of results. So the danger is Brandon's right, very right for the situations that he was talking about and really well done, humorous as hell. The caveat I have is real world real world where you have somebody that just wants to do harm to you it's not your friend not anybody they're trying to they just want to freaking kill you and these individuals are just you know they're brutal they're brutal individuals i show lots of videos of people doing stuff like that and the human body can be extremely fragile at that time so that's my only caveat in the whole thing is i i agree with brandon i just don't agree with the total premise because it's a stupid premise why would i let you put me into something you know, the idea is as soon as it's on, it's on. And if it's a violent situation where you're really trying to trying to save your life, then you're going to go right into trauma to the human body. You're going to try to take somebody out. Doesn't mean that jujitsu is not valid or amazing and very useful in a lot of ways. You know, there are a lot of skill sets that you get out of jujitsu that are incredible. Biting, the reason I would never do biting anyways, I'm not saying you can't, you can do some real damage biting people. Problem is bloodborne pathogens. It's just not worth it. With all the stuff that's going around right now, you have no idea what this idiot on the street, this scumbag that you're going after, you have no idea what he's carrying in his butt. So there are many, many different things you can do to somebody before you have to resort to biting. It's just kind of a dumb premise. So the guy that sent this in to me to show me that, you know, self-defense, which I've told you there's no such thing as self-defense, you know, is useless. And apparently he puts me in that category as a, I'm a self-defense guy. Yeah. Nah. But I got to say, man, I, I have a new, uh, I have a new favorite, uh, YouTube channel. I've been watching Brandon. There's one you guys got to see, like he, he offers a thousand bucks 
uh, to any of the students that could tap him out. I think he goes through like 10 or 20 or 30 people or something, something incredible. And he's just going through them. Uh, dude's really entertaining, really funny, very good practitioner. So I, I highly recommend uh, go join his channel. I actually appreciate it. I appreciate the fact that I got to see his channel and uh, see how he did this. And I think he did a really good job. Yes, he was being funny, but he wasn't being a total jerk or anything. He was actually saying, hey, there's a lot of bad people out there. And look, I'm just going to show you basic setup of this, what they're telling you. And I'm going to show you is just basic application of this. There's no way you can achieve what they're telling you you can achieve before I execute the move. So again, thanks for that video. Listen, you and your family, if you don't have a plan, especially with everything that's going on right now, it's not just about punching, kicking. It's not about grappling. It's, it's a total package when it comes to avoiding violence and you need all the information. And so if you go to timlarkin.com, give us your email. I will send you our report right away where you can start absolutely applying some really great knowledge to help minimize the chance of violence entering you or your family's life. Until next time, all the best.